producer girl in that. Your boy, Stan Lad. Listen, I've been doing this all wrong. If you're new to the family, welcome. Yeah, cause you've been you've been bumping that up the intro, man. I have. Yeah. But that's fine. That's all right. It's all good. You're getting it right. And now. if you are already a family member, you already in the Calvary family. Welcome back. Make sure your ties and your offering are in because we got some work to do here. Yeah. So this week we didn't really have too much. And oh, also shout out to everybody that's in um, Houston and the surrounding Texas areas that have been affected by um, by Harvey. Um, we said it in our last um, recap that we did that um, you definitely have our support, thoughts, and prayers. Um, we definitely are sending funds your way um, through means of where we are sending it through. Um, no individual folk, unless I know you personally. But um, before y'all start trying to get some money out of me. But anyway, let's go ahead. Because they didn't really give us too much this week. On yeah, it was really. laid back this week, yeah. So um, we first start off and um, we got Skanks and he's doing a, um, a sermon over there at Lakewood Church because you know they sat Bishop you know, Joel Osteen down. We're going to call him Bishop Joel Osteen. They sat him down because he didn't open up the doors quick enough, okay? So they got Bishop Skanks over there preaching at his place. And um, Bishop Skanks, I guess he a bishop. Is he bishop? I don't know if he's bishop or not. Well, Skanks over yeah. there, he preaching the word, right? And the word was a really good word. If it really came from within and without motive. Yeah, because he, he hasn't had a motive attached to yeah. it. Yeah, so he's a funny character, Lord have mercy. <laughs> he's hilarious. He's one of those people that you would just go to church, like if you ain't got nothing else to do on a Sunday, like you just came from the club, you still got a little buzz, and you be like, you want, you want, I want to go to church you, 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 want, you want a little bit of church and a little bit of comedy all in one? Yeah. Like, I'm going over to the skates because I know he's going to give it to me. Yeah, two for one, two for one deal. Uh -huh. And I get to get it for free. Yeah, I know he's going to give it to me this Sunday. <laughs> and when he walk out on that... Well, praise the Lord, saints. But but when he started preaching um, hmm. on the homosexual issue, the church kind of got a little bit quiet. Oh, they got real tight up and in there. He didn't get no more amens after that. And he preached the, he preached right from the Bible. He said, listen, mm -hmm. I know what the words say, but let's if you're going to go ahead and throw the Bible at somebody, let's go ahead let's and... Let's throw the whole Bible at let's you. Let's go ahead in Leviticus. That mm -hmm. shelf is y'all about to go to the seafood buffet when y'all leave here, huh? Yep. I said, go ahead, bring it all the way down. Because it's <laughs> the kind of stuff that I be doing at my church, right? Where people want to bring up stuff. I be bringing up yeah. stuff that I know pertain to you. And exactly. you can't say nothing. Yeah, you nail me <laughs> to the cross. So I'm going to nail you to the cross. It ain't right, uh, but uh, hey, we do. <laughs> Whitney Houston said it best. It ain't right, but it's okay. <laughs> and I believe her. <laughs> he said, that's all right. That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Hey. So, when he was trying to, look, see, this is what preachers do, right? When they preach the good word, they keep driving it because they know they got the guy doing hammer right on the nail. And he was like, all right, let me hit it one more time to make sure I got it in the stud. And he said, and here at uh, triumph, we are accepting and the homosexuals have a place here at Calvary. Everybody was like. It was like, should I, should I applaud? First of all, you should know he brought Calvary up in the message. Calvary is, no, he did triumph. His church. No, he, no, he had, he dished Calvary and said, we're going to start accepting homo, homosexual, homosexuals unlike. Oh yeah, uh, they did. Sister church, not sister church, but um, Calvary over there. That they like you as long as you hide who you really are. I was like, he was uh -oh. speaking preach. He was speaking and there, to there was in the corner like, mm -hmm. He had, he nope. did that. Mm -hmm. He did like the old folk do. He said, yeah. so did he just say what I just thought he said? I said, uh huh. He knew what he was doing. He was doing it on the Sunday that uh -huh. he knew Darius was going to be yep. there. He saw that. Listen, that let me say it. Because you're going to take that information back. That book get back and give it to, bit, to Bishop. And it got back. And it also got on the front page of the newspaper. It's all on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, mm -hmm. It's on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Bishop Lester Wallace said, listen. Look at this bull skit right here. Because him and May was sitting there and she showed him everything that was going on. Look, and Lady May was on it, this guy doing episode. Yes, she, she, was. <laughs> she was like a thief in the night. Like, do do do. Do do do. She was just working she, her magic. She, she recording information about you that, she, that you ain't know she recording. Mm -hmm. She watched little tidbit of things that she say. She was like, note that. Don't mm -hmm. all first ladies? No, don't all women. <laughs> Don't put a title on it. That's the way y'all is, y'all. You, oh, oh, oh. you recording information on it. Matter of fact, you got information stored up on me right now. I know you do. You think I'm going to confirm that? 
I ain't got to. I, hey, you ain't got to confirm it. I know. I got your social security number. I can do whatever the I've fuck been, I want. I've been in this do. world over 30 something years, so I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> but what you gonna do about it? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> ain't nothing I can do about it. Cause what? Shoot, they waiting to lock me up anyway, so I just just gonna take it. Shoot. <laughs> Shut up. Are you going all out the frame? <laughs> Cause you need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop. So yeah, they on the um. Darius wrote his piece about Skate's position on um, homosexuality in the church. That's on the front page. Also put a little diss in there about um Calvary. Yep. And <laughs> Bishop Lester Wallace said, um, I bet you any amount of money in order to spend this the way that he wanted to want to be spent. Mm -hmm. He gonna have a little talk to Carlton because you know Carlton is the one that they fired mm -hmm. when he came out of the closet and said that he was married. Well, he didn't actually say he was married. It got out that he was married. Yeah. Um, and so, come to find out, that's exactly what happened. Yep. But Gigi was having a conversation with Darius, and Darius was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and admit, yeah, we did talk to him. And she said, well, why didn't you let me up on game that you were gonna have a talk with him, right? And she said, well, um, he said, well, I thought that you said that uh -huh. we were going to keep church and state separate. You know what I mean? We're not going to talk so, about this so issue. obvious to her convenience. Yeah. Yeah. So I still don't trust him, y'all. I don't know if y'all trust him or not, but I don't trust that. Yeah, I got, I got a little question mark in the back of my head about him. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like when she <sighs> wants him to open up about stuff, all of a sudden... He ain't ready to talk about it. He ready to end dates. He want to walk out or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then when he wants to make sure that the door isn't completely closed, he come, back, he come on back in and give her a little bit of information to keep the conversation rolling and to keep the doors of the church open. Hey, I don't even know what he told her. It's true. The reason why he don't go back to I church. I would fact check that. Yeah, I would. You know, he said his wife got died. There was <laughs> What know, happened? Y'all said got died. <laughs> So they were head to the movies, the matinee, you know, the so 650, cheaper. it's cheaper, and they got T-Bone, and she got killed, and then she asked the pastor why, he said sometimes you just don't question God, uh, but I don't believe that. I think if he'd create a universe, he got why can't I ask some why questions? Why can't I ask some questions? Who else know the answers? Yeah, I got to ask some questions. I you hate know? when people, because people don't want yeah. to, they don't want you to challenge them, and they yeah. don't want... You wanted to sound like you challenging God. No, if so, I got a question, who else I'm going to ask? So it seemed like that was like, okay, I think I think she he kind of got got that church door back open with his wife dying. I don't think she bought that goddamn bullshit about what the pastor did, but she bought that that the dead wife story, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm saying is, Gigi, <sighs> keep your clothes on. Just keep it, God. Don't. Oh, they're coming off pretty soon now. Don't do it, cause I don't want to have to sit hey, her they, down one more time. Well, she ain't preaching she no ain't more. She preaching, yeah. She shit. She got the outreach ministry now. <laughs> Stop it. So yeah, speaking she of outreach, she been doing a lot of reaching out too, and reaching in. You must stop talking about Gigi like that. You gonna put some respect on her name. So. <laughs> Come to find out, look, Gigi don't took over um, Kevin's old position as the outreach director. And she's going through all of his files and all of his books and all of this and that. And she discovered that he was so committed to not being gay mm -hmm. that he was going to these classes to deprogram himself, taking the Serpa Ipecac, and it pissed her all the way off. Yeah, it pissed her off. And she was like, listen, y'all might think that I'm, uh, I don't got skanktified and all that, and I'm mesmerized by skanks and whatever, but he is right on this yeah, position. Yeah, this is real right here. This is the fact. So she went to her daddy and they basically went head to head, toe to toe. And she said, listen, this is what Kevin was doing. This man was in this church every Sunday. Well, all every freaking probably seven days a week, to be mm, honest, because he yeah. worked there. Every week it heard you preach about God's love. This, that, and the third. But he couldn't get none here. Mm -hmm. What's really going on? The she moment was, he became, she will show who he really was. Yeah. It gets cut off. Yeah. And she told her daddy, said, listen, you're going to need to take a position for or against, but you need to take a stand right now. Mm -hmm. He told her, everything is done in God's um, timing. So I have to execute patience in this matter. There were times where we weren't allowed to be who we are. And it just took a lot of time, patience and frustration. So I am prepared to go through the process of patience while God does the work. Gigi was like, Fuck this bull skit. Yeah, you uh -huh, yeah, you trying to, yeah. He trying to throw me off with a, yeah, it yeah, sounds deep, but yeah. no, no. Look, 
what James Brown said? Talking loud, but ain't saying nothing. Ain't nothing. saying nothing. She said, no, 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 no. He said, you can speed that process up by dealing with it now. He said, this is what the church people say. I'm gonna pray about it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, what you end up doing is he gonna get up there and he gonna start. He gonna preach about it. He gonna have to. Yeah, cause some kind of way Gigi is able to get into his heart, and he always want to do right by her. So he gonna yeah, he crazy. gonna make it right. He gonna make it right. So Bishop, we already knew that. Um, once that we saw that article in the paper, he was gonna go visit old Skanks. Uh huh. And he walks over over there to Triumph, and when he goes over there, oh Boo Boo was over there, right? Y'all know, y'all know Boo Boo when y'all see Boo Boo. Boo Boo is always that dude. You don't ask him nothing. You just see him. You nod. And you just keep on going and you act like you ain't see Boo Boo. Boo Boo was up in there just challenging um, Skanks and asking him for his 50K. Uh huh. Told him that we got business and we need to resolve it right here, right now. Well, Skanks went ahead and dismissed old Boo Boo because Bishop Lester Wallace had walked in. Well, one, one long shot another. Uh-huh. And Bishop Lester Wallace looked at him like, hmm, hey. okay, what's this all about? Bishop said, listen, Skanks, which, what I took and told you, uh -huh. the judgment was coming your God doing way, and I am the God doing judgment. Keep my God doing name out your, out mouth, your mouth, keep my family out your mouth, and keep Carrie out your mouth if you know what's good for you. And walked up out there like he was a boss. Do you so? Went back home and was back bragging to uh, May like he had did but you, something. But you know what I thought was getting rid of him? I thought that A whooping was about me. Me too! I thought the bishop was going to give it to him, boy, because he went up in there hot. <laughs> With them got those circle glasses on. I said, take your glasses off or you throw a punch, bishop. Punch. But I got a feeling I know exactly who going to do the whooping now. Oh, boo-boo. So... Now that um Bishop over there at the house bragging to Lady May about how he shut him down and all of this, Lady May say, you know what? Mm -hmm. Why don't we have dinner with Jacob and Clarissa? Because basically, I, I got some tea. No, I got a teacup and I need it to be filled. And mm -hmm. I know Clarissa's going to be the one uh -huh. that's going to really put us up on game of what's going on. So Bishop said, you know what? Why don't we go over there to Jacob's house? We need to show that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm trying to respect what he's doing. And I'm, yeah. you know, I ain't too good. First lady was like, oh, hell. Okay, I'm going to go ahead go. and go. I'll go. I'll take one. I'll take an L tonight. <laughs> but tomorrow. Don't ask me to come back over there next Sunday. <laughs> next Sunday, they over here at my place. <clears throat> so we're going to move around a little bit. They ended up going over there, right? And they had a nice little humble dinner and all that good stuff. The light stayed on this time. And um, Clarissa, in pure Clarissa fashion, mm -hmm. she's pulling information out of Bishop to back up her concerns, her reasoning to make Jacob go out and work. And I agree, Jacob yeah. can go to work. He, yeah, he needs to take his time. If stuff ran there work. breaking and you the man. And, and you ain't got no money to take care of it? Go to work. Go to work. So she's asking Bishop, you know, when you first started out, what did you do? And he said, I did what I had to do. I worked at the hospital. I uh, sold Bibles. Uh, I sold them encyclopedias that you I did, had to I make did paintings landscaping on. at the funeral home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I even put makeup on a few of them to make an extra coin. So, yeah, I did what I had to do. Jacob was like, I don't remember none of this. Mm -hmm. First lady was like, right, he was a little boy. By the time y'all came up, the benefits of, of being taken care of. I was, I was on beast mode. So, no, yeah, you got to do what you got to do until you make it. And then <laughs> Bishop and them started asking him questions about, you know what? I went over there and uh, visited Skanks uh, um, a visit hmm. because um, that phone never rings. I paid um, Skanks a visit. I saw the YouTube video, but I want to know how was a parting of the ways really done between you all? Yeah, because y'all were thick as thieves. Y'all was homeboys. I mean, y'all came over my office, rolling up on me like y'all gonna take me down. Now all of a sudden, you want to sit in? Yeah, now all of a sudden he give you the parsons and land. Y'all man right. So Clarissa, <clears throat> she wants to start spilling it all, and Jacob looking at her like, <laughs> if you don't, we just had a conversation about this. So he was able to get his um his um pit bull to stand down for a little bit. But I said, this ain't over. Yeah. They gonna get the information they need. Oh, yeah. So on their way out the door, because Jacob pretty much shut his daddy down and said, listen, man to man, my word is my bond. I said that I was gonna protect his secret 
And until he do something to me, the secret is safe. But the moment that he do something to me, I'm going to say something. But until then, yeah. I'm going to back it up with my scripture right here. Little right here, yep. <laughs> and the scripture said, like, I said he learned from his dad. The scripture said right here. Oh, uh, yeah. He know the users to get no damn back him down, see? <laughs> so dad was like, I respect I, that. I can't, I can't say nothing against that. That is the word. But what Clarissa did? So then Clarissa on the way out the Why is you doing that? <laughs> like them old folks. <laughs> so on the way out the door. Clarissa made it a point to tell Bishop, hey, Bishop, we're still having problems with that breaker box that we got going on. Jacob was like, uh, uh, Jacob said, no. didn't we just have this conversation that I am going to deal with this? And she's sitting over there like this. And I said, uh-huh, when they leave, he going to get your tail. No, I don't agree with a whole lot of stuff that Jacob do, but I do agree that when there is a common ground built on the in the house. Mm -hmm. That is to be respected and especially in front of company. Yeah. If I took and told you, don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's basically what she did. She mm -hmm. undermined him. But I like what Jacob had to say to her. Jacob said, Listen, "Kinda, I like the kinda. It was. A I bit, see both of that. It was, that it was a little bit of manipulation in there. Too, oh, it was a whole lot of manipulation in there." Uh -huh. Jacob told her, say, listen, when I was at my father's house and I let you run all over top of me, I did that because basically I was in a position to do so. I was in a position where I didn't have much authority, but you prayed for me to be in an authoritative position and you prayed for me to be the man of my house. Now that I am doing that, now you can't handle it. And I said, you kind of got a point, Jacob, but let me bust your bubble right yeah, here. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. You and got it halfway done. But hello, authority with no money. Authority that can't provide is not respected. That's right. I'm sorry. Said a man that can't take care of his own house is worse than a what? <laughs> Infidel. <laughs> That's the scripture. That, uh, uh, we, we, I can't even remember your name. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob, God damn. And another one for you, a man that don't work, don't what? He don't eat. And I think you just ate a good meal, so you need to get a job. Yeah, you need to get a job. Cause Clarissa said, did you get a job like I told you? You got your kids running around here, the freaking lights blinking like a haunted house. We walking in slow motion, every time the lights blink, we... <laughs> like the haunted house. Come on, you need to get this get together. Today. And I was like, I can't even say anything because Clarissa is right on that one. Yeah, yeah. If you want to be the man, you have to be the man. If you want the uh, woman to be submissive to you, you got to give her something to submit to. That's it. And I hate when people always say, oh, I want my wife to be submissive. What is she being what submissive, she submissive to? to? What's the vision? Um, where we going? What are we trying to accomplish? What's the game plan? Because ain't no good woman going to let you just drive her into nope. a ditch. You just, if you just existing, bruh, you can't expect for her to submit to you just existing. Mm -hmm. But if you let her know that I got this and she yeah. believes you mm -hmm. and she really do trust you, yeah. we don't have no problem with letting you drive. So you got to prove to her that you can fly the plane. That's it. Because I ain't trying to die. Yeah. <laughs> God doing it. But the, truth, but the truth of the matter is all the bros, and, and I don't mean to be hard on the bros, all of us are still trying to learn how to drive. Yeah. But we got to put our pride down that even on a freaking airline, the pilot got a co-pilot. And that's what she is. She the co-pilot so that when the pilot, something happened to the pilot or the pilot can't drive, guess what? The co-pilot can kick in and drive the goddamn plane. So what that means? That means sometimes if you ain't good with the money player, let the co-pilot handle it. Hey, player, you ain't good with the kids, hey, let the co-pilot uh, handle it until you get yourself together. And then when you get yourself together, the co-pilot gonna go right back in the autopilot. Yep. Let you get your job back. That's how it works. That's how it's supposed to work anyway. Boom. You got to compliment each other. You got to do it. So what else happened? Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Woo! Coach across. Yeah. Coach across. Come over there to the church. Cause she, no, she called first. She called first. And, 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 and wait a minute. Secretary yeah. ain't got no goddamn sense. No, she got no sense. And the bishop got on the phone. I got to talk about this right Go now. Go ahead. Talk he about got on the phone. I, I, Pretty sure she addressed him as Bishop uh, Lester Wallace Greenleaf. <laughs> and he said, nah, don't, don't, don't call me Bishop. What do you say? Call me, call call me, me James. Call me James. Who? What? What? So everybody else running around here got to gotta put respect on your title. Because you went to seminary and all that stuff and took all the courses and got your degree. 
But now this woman coming, the coochie cross coming there, she ain't got to put no respect on it. No, because she made them that pineapple upside down cake with young pineapples. Because the uh, older ones, huh? they're a little tough. Huh? I said if you don't sit your god doing mommy wig high parts <laughs> down, I see you, Latoya. Latoya look good. So, next thing we know, we see her over at the church in Bishop office. Now, she ain't had to go to his side of the guy doing desk this time. He done brought his stinking hard parts around that no sat on the end of his own guy doing yeah. desk with his leg cocked up right here. And she top us like, oh, Bishop. Yeah, touch his leg. I said, I see. I see. I see you all up on Bishop thigh meat like her yes. John John was but, but you know what he made sure he did it. She did it when it was laughing. See, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch out when people do that. Me joking and try to get some feels in there. I hear you know what, Coach Cross. I see you tell. She said, you know what? What I really came over here to tell you is, I'm like, you could have told him this on the phone. You could have sent it an email. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, on Sunday mornings when they say, do we have one? That's when you do it. But no, just, just gonna walk down the front. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. gonna come and say, well, I came to tell you that I made my decision. I have made Calvary my home church. And talking about Skank's little stand on his little message was my uh, pretty much push to join to over join. here. Oh, so so which which somebody said something in the comments last week, and I didn't even I didn't think of this, and I'm not even gonna take credit for it because I didn't think of this, but they said, what if Coochie Cross is Skank's sister? Cause y'all yeah. remember when the daddy got burnt up in the house, mm -hmm. and when Bishop and um Perv Merv, yeah, when they found out that the secret was out. They didn't even know that the daddy had a son. They only knew of daughters. Yeah. So they was like, what if Coochie Cross is Skank's sister? And it's all a setup. Uh. And I said, you know what? Got a good point there. That wouldn't be a bad angle, but I don't but, know where we go. But it still kind of fits in my angle that I still believe she's Skank sent. <laughs> she what? So whether it's the sister, the cousin, the uh, daughter from another mother, it's skank scent, I believe that. Yeah. Well then, first lady, she not done. First lady was on it this guy no episode I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> she had a meeting with Jacinta because she was like, you know what? In order she got my girls into the school, I need to pay her a visit and I'm gonna, you know, pump her ego a little bit and I'm gonna let her speak on my women's day program. You know, all of that. So I'm gonna talk to her, pay for her a little lunch, have a little chat with her. First lady just done pulled all the tea out of her. She said, you know what? Rochelle Cross, Coochie Cross. I'm so glad she did this solid for me. How do y'all know each other? Oh, girl, she handles my finances. And she I owe that girl 20 times over. But how do you know her? Oh, she's checking out our church. You know, possibly going to make our church her church home. She told me what happened over there at our old church. She mm. said, said she did. She told you that? First lady said, yes, yeah, she, she told did. Me, tell me. She did. She told me all of it. She said, you know what, honey? I'm just so upset that every time stuff like this happens, the woman takes the blame for all of it. I'm as lying. if the man didn't have a part in indiscretion. I said, <laughs> oh. hey, I, I said, the first lady played that one perfect boy and she got said, that information. The moment she said, I had breast cancer. Oh, oh, did I know how you got it? <laughs> Hell no, hell no. She didn't have breast cancer. Uh -huh. She said, my breast can. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey. So, <laughs> I said, you witch. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But yeah, my, we all said it. Some people said in the comments, too. I said, she was over there messing with that guy. Doing, it was either the pastor or the deacon. One of them. Was it Jacob? Because y'all know Jacob. She was handing out cookie, uh, 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 coochie cross around through the congregation. Yup. So, then we see Zora, the weed explorer. She in that twin bed. Look, y'all gave her a hell about that twin bed last <laughs> week. And I forgot to say anything about it. Zora in that twin bed. Laid up there with Isaiah again. Trying to do her homework. They get ready to get it in. Again. But thank God. Look, there's a round. But did she out him, though? In the bush. Did she out him? Who? She said, she said okay, I'll give you ten minutes. Uh, no, two. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. Hmm? Eh? Huh? You young like that. That's all it takes. So, um, she was going to get it in, but the ram in the bush was her daddy. Her daddy come knocking on the door. He had some donut holes. He was so happy about uh -huh. his donut holes. And he pushed that door. Now, Isaiah, I know you. 
You you He had a Benny he had a Benny you, um young moment. <laughs> no! Go in the corner. Go out the window. Go in the bed. Do something. Hide. Or just stay still. You almost can blend in the wall. <laughs> he just sit there on the bed looking dumb. Look. Jacob said, come here. Hey. Rules of the house. Don't you have that door closed while you up in this house. Respect the rules of my house, basically, and put him out. Told her, <laughs> told her daughter, say, uh, say a nail nada. Say a mm -hmm. nail nada. Sent her to a goddamn room. I said, that goddamn Zora the weed explorer. You better hope she ain't pregnant. But they did use condoms last week. Because they yeah. did put that in there. That she asked for a condom. So I give her props for that. I got a thought on that right there. Yeah. I know how we are with our daughters with another man. And we want our house to be respected. Yeah. But you know, majority of us that do that didn't respect the other man's house. That's why y'all feel so strongly about it. So is that kind of like, is it kind of hypocritical? Um, or nah, maybe hypocritical is too hard of a word. Maybe if we would just educate the dude. So versus like going, you know, take him down, let him know I used to be who you were. So and right. this is why I'm doing this because matter of fact, the dad or my wife did the same thing to me or my ex-girlfriend, whatever. And in or, the future, or you another one, respect yeah, your daughter. Yeah, to respect your daughter, so. You know it's still never work right. Yeah. I don't, mean, you know. Don't nobody care about that when yeah. they're trying to get some. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they you don't, don't care if you get locked up. You will have sex in public just to get that mm off. Yeah. So, don't nobody care. No, nah, nobody care. You're right. But that's just like, rabbit hole moment. Duh, 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 duh. I was engaged for I met now years, years, years ago. And one of my fiance's sisters, she didn't really take a take into me. And I don't know why, because everybody else loved me. And I was trying to figure this thing out for the longest time. I was like, why when she comes around, she kind of just looks at me like, you know, she was never disrespectful, but she won't, she didn't take up, take on to me like everybody else do. Like your she sister. Won't, she won't googie golly around you yeah. like, hey, girl, yeah. Like your sister. Yeah. Me and your sister can have relationship by herself with even, out, you know, without Stanley. And I'm like, why ain't this girl taking on to me like this? And come find out. Now, she under an expectation that I don't know she under about how a household supposed to be ran. I was an atheist at that goddamn time. I ain't believe in no God or no nothing. So she wanted her brother to live under the Christian way of living. Don't be shacking up. Don't be having no sex without marriage. So because that was her standard of living and because we were not doing that, she didn't know how to treat me. Hmm. So that's how sometimes you gotta. But the beef on what you was for her brother. That's it was he with her saying, brother, yeah, but yeah. I got the brunt got of it to too. So sometimes we gotta stop putting our expectations on other people when they don't even know that it's there. Now it would have been good for her because now that I knew, now that I know, mm -hmm. I understand her position now. But if she had just came and said, you know what, I probably wouldn't have still done. It. You know, no, you you nothing. wouldn't put no respect on it. You still wouldn't put no respect on it. But I would have known. That that was what it Where was. Where her span was. Instead of trying to figure out what the hell did I do to her? Or why she ain't, you know. And you probably made some adjustments. Be like, yeah. Well, she bites it in and be like, your sister gonna be there? All right. Like, okay, he, she gonna be there. Let me know when she ain't there. Yeah. We come through there, boom, boom. And then we can go and then I can jet. Yeah. And, you know, try to find a way to, you know, massage the little <laughs> issue. But that's what that was. So, um, yeah, so Zora, she, she got blocked that time. She on her way with, um... What's the child name? Sophia. Uh-huh. She can't stay off the phone with old Isaiah because she's trying to do damage control. Yeah. She's talking about some of the way my daddy put him out and the way my daddy you know so daddy didn't do skit. You better be lucky he ain't dead. He actually took it pretty easy on it. Look, I don't even like my daddy. I ain't talked to my dad in a thousand years. But I will say this one thing. When it comes to Haitian men and their daughters, even if they ain't skit themselves, buck with them. Mm-hmm. You ain't seen skit till you seen a Haitian daddy get pissed. Missing person? They probably got him. Hmm. I'm just saying. So, um, yeah. Right now, <laughs> if I said my husband did something to me, all I got to do is get the word down there to him. He may not even speak to me when he walks through the door, but it will be taken care of. He probably come in with that butt wash his hand. Oh, yeah. He could be uh, drunk as hell. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, he going to be drunk as hell. Where you at? Where you at? What you doing? <laughs> I heard that you put your hands on my daughter. <laughs> I hope his head be combed though. It's, he cut it he off cut though. It off. He, he cut it off. off. Yeah, he did. He cut it off. Yeah. 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 That's, that's you would no, have to yeah. see my dad to yeah. understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all know. Yeah. It ain't just dreadlocks. Only. It's just kind of like 
<laughs> you, 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 your mom on Friday when 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 uh when she called and told Craig said, "Once your daddy get some news that he like spiders having meat in his head," and she's like, "Yeah, but long, but but longer." <laughs> That's how it used to be. Into yeah, he cut. Who them. cut that booze skit? Andre. I'll be here to get a new pair of clippers after that. He sent me a picture and I said, who is this? He said, that's your daddy fool. I said, ain't no way his clippers survived <laughs> that cut. Mm -mm. I said, Andre probably had to take scissors to that first. He probably had to put put uh, freaking uh, clipper spray on it about 20 times. Yeah. Had to take the blades off and freaking brush them off with the toothbrush. Uh-huh, we going to guys <laughs> far. Blow it. Like, you know what? It's going to take us two days to cut this right here. So, what else happened? Oh, so at the end of the day, I don't know, hope I'm not forgetting anything. Nah, freak, we gonna talk about God doing our uh, uh, charity. And her uh, hot, hot in the draws tail. I really wasn't gonna talk about charity tonight, but I guess and we could talk about her. Kevin is still married to you. I don't care how much you We think. need to find him. Yeah. He missing. And here you is, you you getting mad because you gotta peck on your cheek after dinner. Now she started to question his sexuality. Yeah, she questioning him. She told yeah. Gigi, she said, I had all of this serving, cherish the day, and he ain't do nothing. I ain't even eat. He but trying you... to live holy. <laughs> Is that what y'all call it these days? <laughs> he trying to live holy and not try to do something on the first date. But she won't, she won't, she won't lay it, she trying to lay it all out. She's like, wow, she's shaking. Yeah. She, I said, Jabari, you wrong for that. You could have kissed her on the lips or something. She kissed you. That was she, on her. And she already went on feelings because he gave her a little recorder and said, when you feel inspired to go ahead and lay down something and send it to me. She said, so you don't want me to come back and forth to Nashville? He said, he said no. He said, no. She said, I said, you know what, Charity? I cannot do nothing. But she's setting herself up to be played. She really is. She put yeah, it all you, out yeah, there. Yeah, you, you setting yourself up to be played. She got Gigi to babysit for her because she just knew she was going to bust her wide open. Huh. And he said, nope. I'm Scared. going upstairs to my room. Yep. Sitting oh, up man. in my room. <laughs> matter of fact, I'm getting out right here. on to unlock the door. Let me out. I said, look at them squeezed up in that goddamn car. So, um, next thing we know, we see Clarissa. We said we was going to do this in under 20 minutes. Yeah, it never happened. Clarissa takes her tail over there to Calvary and she tells Bishop Lester Wallace and First Lady May everything that happened over there at Skanks about the, the land, the 10,000, all the skit that was going on over there. Yeah. Because Bishop had already questioned Jacob about the man that looked like he belonged in the pool hall. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she went ahead and told him everything about what he doing over there. Now, I can't stand Clarissa. And she wrong for what she did and it's gonna bite on her head, hind part. Yeah. But I will say this. Basic Skanks is playing a hand in a really big game. Yeah. I'm not even mad that Bishop Lester Wallace got some information to have a bigger hand in this big A game. Yep. Cause right then and there when he was like, last night took an L but tonight I bounced back. Hey. He gonna have it right for his hunger pause. Yep. And I'm not even mad that he got that information. I'm just mad that Clarissa cannot sh <laughs> Bishop said, well, at least you should have got trial. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! He said, you got the bed, you got a house down there, the electricity ain't working, and a piece of land over there don't even perk. So you, you, <laughs> so who got the best internet deal? You gave away all your savings, and y'all still struggling. Uh, and she said, that's why I'm over here. That's why I'm over here. I'm not letting you know. <laughs> like Kevin Ross said, Jacob is it. messing up. <laughs> God, don't it? Oh my she should have said, uh, can I move back in? Because if he find the information, I'm going to be homeless. <sighs> Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty self. Two up. Two down. Holla. Holla.